Hello, this is Sanjay Sane from Sane's Academy. In this video, we are going to see column transformers from scikit-learn library. Well, before I talk about column transformer, I am going to first of all tell you where do we really require the column transformer. Suppose that I have a data set like this one housing.csv or housing. Let me first of all show you the data types of it. What we see is some of the data types are numeric and some of the data types are non-numeric. That means that if we really want to do the hot encoding or dumbing of the variables, we should leave out these numeric variables and we should be only focusing on doing the dummies of these yes no type variables or object type variables. So first of all, let us try applying one hot encoder transformation to this data set. Over here, what I want is my particular output. I want as pandas object. Hence, I will set its output as pandas. Hence, you see, I have done that. Now I will be applying fit transform method with OHC object on the DF uh, data frame. I am setting this sparse output equal to false because we want to enable the output from pandas that's why. So now let's execute this as we have executed this. Now we have the new object DF OHC which we expect to get hot encoded object. And here is the hot encoded data set. Unfortunately, what we see over here is that our hot encoder has not spared any of the numeric fields, any of the numeric columns. It has hot encoded numeric as well as as well as categorical columns here yeah, like yes. But our interest is to only hot encode the object type of columns. That is, we don't want this kind of hot encoding. You see, we have numeric as well as categorical variables over here, but the categorical variables should be converted. We want them to be converted into ones and zeros. And we want price, stories, etc. And, and some numeric variables which are there in numeric form only. We don't want to do get dummies or we don't want to hot encode them. That's the main purpose of our operation. In other words, to say the same thing, we want hot encoder to be only be applied on the variables like driveway, recreation room, pool base, etc. which are of object type and we don't want our hot encoder to be applied on the numeric variables like price, lot size, bedroom but it is by default doing that. That is what we are going to change with column transformation. Let's do that. We are going to create the column transformer object with the help of this convenient function make column transformer. Let's import that. Hence, as you see on line number three, we have imported that make column transformer function. You need to understand that the way we need to specify the transformations or transformers in make column transformer is with the help of tuples and it will be tuple of transformer and the column specified. So as you see that I want OHC, I want OHC is the one hot encoder. Well, OHC I want to be applied to which ones? Driveway, recreation room, full base, etc. The objects, the variables which are objects fine and and for the variables which are numeric i don't want any operation to take place of them and hence i am doing pass through so this pass through is going to not do anything on the columns which we are specifying and that is what we actually want let's execute this Oh wait wait before doing that let us set its output as 
transform equal to pandas so on line number 17 i have written ct the object which is getting created with make column transformer and, and we are applying ct dot fit underscore transform to create the transform oops we require to run this all hence you see that we have executed and let us examine the columns now we see these columns or let us see the grid layout of this with this particular grid layout what we see is every column has been prefixed with a particular string related to its transformation for example the columns like driveway driveway yes driveway no have been prefixed with one hot encoder columns like lot size and price which were given the pass through transformation were actually prefixed with pass through string but many a times it will be inconvenient for us to handle such kind of long string names or rather long column names the way to avoid these can be specifying the the option verbose features out so if you closely see this particular option it is by default true which will prefix all the feature names with the name of the transformer that generated that feature if false it will not prefix and we actually don't want it to prefix so hence let's set this to false in our make column transformer function hence as you see i have done that and let's execute the code and let's also now see the column names dot columns which will now show you the variable names without the prefix so so far as hot encoding is concerned it's done but what if you have got plenty of columns in your data set which are object type and plenty of columns in your data set which are numeric type well for that purpose we can use the function make column selector in our column transformer function let's do that where we are going to specify arguments like d type include and d type exclude so here i i am importing the make column selector and i will be using make column selector in this place where we previously had specified the column names over here as you remember we had specified the column names as the column names like driveway recreation room which were of object type now in place of the list of those object type column names what we are specifying over here is make column selector d type include object that means it will include the list of all the column names which are of object type now for pass through we want the pass through to be executed on the numeric variables hence we specified d type include is equal to integer and float type of objects let's execute this and you know let's also execute this with whatever we had decided about the verbose option which we had discussed earlier and also setting the output to pandas here is the output and let's see now the column names and hence it is done thanks for watching this video if you like this video click the like button and for more videos from me do subscribe to my channel thank you